hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be studying about amplitude shift keying so amplitude shift keying is one of the first techniques for performing digital to analog conversion and the introduction for digital to analog conversion we have seen in the previous video now let us understand what is amplitude shift keying so in amplitude shift keying we are basically changing the amplitude of the carrier signal so that we can represent the information that we want to transmit the digital data that we want to transmit okay now only the amplitude of the signal is changing and both phase and frequency which are the other two characteristics of the carrier signal remain constant so we do not change uh, either the frequency or the phase depending on the digital information we only change the amplitude in case of ASK which is amplitude shift keying okay now there are two major types of amplitude shift keying which is the binary amplitude shift keying and the multi-level amplitude shift keying so binary amplitude shift keying basically means that there will be binary number of amplitudes so binary means two so it will be implemented using two amplitude levels now what does that mean it basically means that bit zero will be represented by amplitude zero the amplitude of the carrier signal will be uh, reduced to zero when we have to represent bit zero and when we have to represent bit 1, we will represent it by a positive voltage. Now, what will be this positive voltage? That is first decided between the sender and receiver and it remains constant. That means one value of the positive voltage is decided and for representing all the bits which are 1, that positive voltage is used during transmission. Okay, so there are only two uh, two values of the amplitude one is amplitude having zero voltage and the second is the bit one which is represented with a positive amplitude a positive voltage okay so this particular uh, amplitude shift keying is also known as on off keying because when bit 0 is represented with 0 amplitude, it is just like switching off the carrier signal. We receive 0 amplitude signal, which is like receiving no signal at all. And on means you are receiving a positive voltage. Now, let's take an example and see how actually the amplitude shift keying binary ASK is performed. So suppose we have the digital information which is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 and this is represented in the form of a digital signal first. So this is positive voltage and this is 0 voltage. Again this is positive voltage, this is 0 voltage and here also we will have a positive V and 0. So this is the information that we want to represent on this particular carrier signal so this is a carrier signal and now using this carrier signal we have to represent this digital data so let us see how we will do this so the first bit is one and one means we will uh, let the amplitude of the carrier signal be the original amplitude that it had so the amplitude of the carrier signal is a positive voltage so every time we have to represent one we will retain this amplitude the peak amplitude of the carrier signal for that particular signal element so this is how we will represent one now the next information or the bit that we have to represent is bit zero so the data element here is one bit and this is zero so for 0, our amplitude will go down to level 0. So the amplitude would become 0. Then we have two ones that we want to uh, transmit. And this will be represented by the positive amplitude level, which is the original amplitude of the carrier signal. And then we have to represent 0. So again, 
the signal will have zero voltage okay so this is the final modulated signal or rather the signal that will be actually used for transmission right now coming to multi-level amplitude shift keying multi-level means there will be more than two levels of the amplitude in the final wave that we will be transmitted in the modulated wave okay now more than two different amplitude values will be used but this multi-level ASK it is never actually used in real life purely so even if multi-level ASK is used it will be used in combination with some other technique and we will see this uh, in the future lecture but as of now you can remember that this is more of a theoretical concept when it comes to pure multi-level ASK okay now in any multi-level ASK if you want to represent two bits then you will be having four different amplitudes because two bits will result into four combinations right and four different combinations that means four different data elements so each data element will be represented by a unique uh, amplitude value similarly if you have three bits the data uh, elements the unique data elements will be 2 raised to the power 3 which is 8 so you will have 8 different amplitudes in that case and for 4 bits 16 different amplitudes and so on so the resulting wave that you get in case of uh, uh, amplitude shift keying whether it is binary or multi-level will be a non-periodic composite signal so it is composite because the characteristics of the signal are changing depending upon the data that we want to represent and it is non-periodic that means it is not following the period that is followed by a generic uh, sine wave okay so this was all about amplitude shift keying if you understood this lecture and like this video please let us know in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe to our channel share with your friends and if you have any doubts you can refer to us in the comment section also thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam